the Everyday Aruvida <laughs> Guide to Self Care by Kate O'Donnell. Rhythms, routines, and home remedies for natural healing. So if you're into any of those things, um, stick around. Um, so you get like exercises, recipes like both food and beauty. Um, a decent book for those who have heard of a Revita or like have an interest in it or um, want to explore it further. So like you get what you need to know about Aravita. Hopefully I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, doshas, the seven constitutional types, going through the seasons, foods, other stuff as well. Um, so you get an uh, image. of the Shinkia philosophy so basically it's just like almost like a family tree type of thing the five elements in the body so space air fire water earth little intro to those the qualities of pita the qual p-i-t-t-a not pita the M animal um, rights organization, um, the qualities of Kappa. So you got this, like, so like doshas, pita, and whatever I just said, pita. So fall in place, a little talk about that. Um, so like first part is like about like the physical body and um, gut chapter on the mind. So Ella, beginning is more of like the informational stuff that she's brought in. Um, and then you got the second part, which is the lifestyle of like Arabita. And like the times you, sh um, you should be focusing on the certain like the three parts of the body. Um, dry brushing, bathing, um, sleep and nighttime routines, too little sleep. Um, Seasonal cleanses. So like lavender honey, um, Talia's feel better tea. Um, you do get a glossary at the end. But yeah, if you do have an interest in this, this may be something to have a look at. Um, as an added thing um reference resource while looking into this um but yeah to me it isn't an end all be all type of book on the subject to me anyway um but yeah the every Ayurveda guide to self-care happy readings